All right, you're probably like me, and when Final X ended, you started to think, all right, we got June, July, August, September. We got some months before the upcoming World Championships, and your mind started to wander towards the NCAA season. I, I, I won't lie. That's where my mind has been. I've been thinking about the upcoming season. I've been thinking about who's going to win the respective weight classes, and my mind most recently shifted to the 285 weight class where – the returning champion or last year's champion, Mason Paris, has graduated. He's gone. That was the Hodge Trophy winner, undefeated. He was a beast. He's gone. So you think, all right, 285 is cleared out, and there's there's some hammers that are left behind. you got the returning finalist, Greg Kerfleet of Penn State. He's a, he's a contender. You've got the NCAA Penn King, Wyatt Hendrickson from Air Force. He's a contender to win to win NCAAs. And you've also got a world teamer in Colton Schultz, right? And all these guys are, are viable options to, to win NCAA title. This, this coming year in Kansas City. You also got other Big Ten guys like Lucas Davis and Tony Cassiope vying for that title. But unfortunately for all of them, I, I think they're going to be huge underdogs coming into the upcoming NCAA season because Gable Steveson has another year of eligibility. That's right. And a lot of people maybe didn't realize that because you're doing the math in your head and you're like, well, wait, his 18, 19 year was his freshman year. COVID, how does he still have another year? Well, last year basically counts as a redshirt for Gable, so he has one year remaining. And so, yeah, he has a year remaining, but what does that matter? Well, not only does he have it remaining, he wants to use it. Gable, I think, is planning to use it. He wants to wrestle collegiately next year. Now, you might be thinking, well, well why would he want to do that? This is a guy who's won the Olympics. He's on the world team. He's got other, you know, if he's going to be in wrestling, you think he's going to be thinking about the highest level and, and winning the Olympic title. Well, actually, his return to NCAA has a, an Olympic tie to it because if if you know, he's going to probably win a medal, probably a gold one in Serbia, which means he's going to be sitting out to the Olympic trials finals. Well, Gable doesn't want to go from the Worlds to April without getting some matches in. So the, the NCAA season can provide a great opportunity for Gable to, you know, make sure his timing and everything is clicking on all cylinders ahead of the Olympic trials, which are so important. Um, and, and for Gable, getting on that team is a huge step, and he wants to do it. He's got his his eyes set on it. So you're in for 2024? Yes, hopefully I'm in for 2024. We're going to take it one day at a time right now. I'm glad to be on the world team, and I'm glad to go to Belgrade, Serbia in September. You want to go out there and put on a good show for the people, and that's what I'm here for. I, I feel like I'm here for a really good time, and I feel like I'm not here for a long time. So I hope every time I go out there, people soak it up and enjoy every last chance they get of me. He said, hopefully I'm in. I want to be in. I want to be. And I think deep down, Gable is expecting to be there, and Gable wants to be there. I do know and believe there's a, there is a WWE dynamic there, right? They're, they have schedules, too. They have plans for Gable as well. So finding a way to meld the two, merge the two together, is still a work in progress, I think, for Gable and the WWE. But I think ultimately it's what they both want to do. Now, why does Gable want to do this? Okay, I already mentioned the fact that he wants to make sure his timing is on point for, for the upcoming Olympic trials. That's huge, right? He doesn't want to go in there um, not feeling like he's clicking on all cylinders. That makes a lot of sense, even though, you know, for, for Gable – Look what he just did. He hadn't wrestled since NCAAs in 2022 in March. He goes to the U.S. Open and looks as good as we'd ever seen him. So this is a guy that can wrestle with the layoff. So if he doesn't do the NCAA season, I, I would have um, the exact same amount of confidence that he's going to make the team. But even still, Gable wants to make sure he gives himself the best, best opportunity to make the team because a big reason and a big part of the pool for, for him to return, there, there's there's considerable cash considerations here there's a lot of money on the table for gable steveson one if he wins the olympics did you realize he can win five hundred thousand dollars half a million and oh by the way this half a million is is tax free so that's just 500k straight into the bank account of gable steveson all right not bad even though he's getting a bag with wwe that is that is money that is is very very difficult for gable to turn down especially given the fact that he appears to be continually continually improving. So you're thinking, oh, he's trying to make money with, with the Olympics. But but also consider, if he comes back to collegiate wrestling, he is maybe hands down the most marketable NCAA athlete 
in, in wrestling right now, right? Um, his following is huge. His the the fan base is just kind of collectively behind this guy, so he can command high dollar for a return to the NCAA wrestling mat. And I I believe there's going to be a lot of entities we can call them that would be happy to write Gable a big fat check to wrestle collegiately next year. So don't think for a second that that there isn't a financial component to that part as well collegiately. Now a couple of years ago that wasn't a really a, a reality. You're just doing it for, you know, scholarship or whatever. You just want to compete. But now there's a real financial incentive for for Gable to return. And I think the the other thing that you have to consider is deep down at his at his core, Gable is a competitor. He is someone who wants to go out and test himself. And and while WWE is a great opportunity for Gable and a, an opportunity for him to build his his star, it's not the same thing as going out on the mat and 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 doing something you have trained very literally your entire life to do, which is compete and win and show that you're the best. And when you're the best, the best in the world is something, I don't think it's easy to just walk away from it and move on to something else. And I think that was something we thought maybe was going to happen after he won the Olympics in 21 and then won NCAs and took his shoes off in, in 22. We thought, all right, maybe we've seen him wrestle his last match. Some people thought, no way he'll be back. And the people who said he would be back, one of the first things they said, the guy's a competitor. And you can't discount that fact that Gable is not only one of the best to do it, but he loves to do it. He loves to compete. He loves to wrestle. And WWE doesn't give him that, right? It gives him a lot of other opportunities, but he can't test himself athletically, competitively. And the guy wants to compete. So I think we are going to see Gable return to, to collegiate wrestling. But I don't think it's something where we're going to hear, hey, don't don't expect in the next couple of weeks we're going to hear, Gable's back. He's going to be wrestling NCA. Gable's for sure back. I think the scheduling considerations are still, you know, up in the air to to an extent. But I think when it's all said and done and the dust settles, we're going to see Gable win Worlds in September, wrestle the NCA season, win a title there, make the Olympic team, win the Olympics all the way to the bank. And then at that point, I think we can start talking about Gable full on WWE. But even then, He's going to be 24 years old. I Even at that point, if he's won back-to-back Olympic titles, I don't think it would be for sure we don't see him again. But then I think is when you can start to seriously consider, maybe we have seen Gable wrestle his last match. But I don't think it'll be until after the Paris Olympic Games in 2024.